Cups and welcome to today's vlog. So for today, I am going to be doing something that I've never done before and that is I am going to be reading for 24 hours. Is this insane? I think it is. <laughs> I really think it is, but I thought today would be the perfect day to do this because today is the first day of the sweater weather readathon, and basically, I thought this would be a really strong start to the readathon. And I have five books total on my TBR. Realistically, I know I can read two books in 24 hours, I think three books might be pushing it but I really want to see if I can do it. I have uh, Bookish and the Beast, which I'm going to be listening to the audiobook of this one. And then I will be reading the physical copies of The Nature of Witches and Good Girl, Bad Blood. So it is currently 8.04. I think I'll start at 8.30 and then I'll finish tomorrow at 8.30. So we'll see how it goes. I think I'm going to make some coffee because it's gonna be a long night. It's gonna be a wild journey. And I think also while I listen to the audiobook of Bookish and the Beast, I'm going to set up a cozy reading space here in my reading room. audiobook and I'm on page 103 in the physical book so it's going really well I am loving the audiobook there are two different narrators in the audiobook there's a narrator for Rosie and a narrator for Vance I love the narrator for Vance he has the best accent. I'm gonna play a little snippet so you guys can hear. Her face closes off like the snap of a mousetrap. In the daylight, she looks just about as normal as they come. Brown hair pulled up away from her heart-shaped face, framed with a fringe that curls every which way in that endearing sort of way. I don't quite understand. Yeah, so that's a little snippet. I'm just really, really loving it. So I'm gonna finish this chapter so that way I am at part two. And then when I get to part two, I'm gonna take a break from Bookish and the Beast. And then I'm gonna read a little bit of The Nature of Witches. I'm currently on chapter four of The Nature of Witches. I'm excited to keep going with that one. So yeah, my camera battery is about to die. So I'm gonna charge my battery and read some more and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I told Harold that I'm reading for 24 hours. And what did you say, Harold? That's normal. <laughs> he said that's normal. Cause I need 
chapter eight and it's really interesting so this book is about witches that maintain the climate so you have different witches that kind of have special powers for each season you have the summers the autumns the springs the winters except for Clara oh Hugo is playing with my tripod <laughs> except for Clara who is an ever witch and she is very rare in the sense that she has magic that pertains to all of the seasons. So she's a very strong witch, um, but she's kind of hesitant, well she's very hesitant with her magic and her power. So yeah, it's very very interesting. She is at a school and she has a teacher what is his name? Mr. Hart. And he's described as someone who has glasses and frizzy white hair, but I imagine him to look like Allison Argent's father from Teen Wolf. I feel like that would be so cool to have him as like a teacher and I don't know, that's how I picture him. <laughs> she also has a cat named Equinox, but she calls him Knox and I think that's really cute. So I'm really enjoying it so far. It definitely is a very unique type of story. So I'm very curious to see what will happen. But I'm on chapter 10 and a lot happens from chapter 8 to 10 and I really like Sang. He's the love interest in the story. He is a spring witch and I feel like the four different seasons in the school kind of reminds me of the four different Hogwarts houses. And I feel like the spring house reminds me of Hufflepuff because Sang is a spring witch and he's known for being very kind and patient. And yeah, I don't know. It's just really cool. I really like Sang. He seems very sweet and he has a very calming presence, which is very helpful for Clara and her magic. And I also love the fact that when Clara first meets Sang, he um, is saving her cat from a thunderstorm. I just love that that is their first interaction with each other. Um, but yeah, so I do think I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to listen to the audiobook of Bookish and the Beast while I get ready for bed. Um, and then I'll just pick up where I left off in the morning. But yeah, I did not stay up as late as I thought I would, but I'm just so tired. Maybe I'll go to Starbucks and read in the morning. I feel like that's a good plan just to get like a change of scenery. What if the world had 
had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. It is 11:30, and I think I'm going to have a little bit of a change in plans. So I am still going to read the physical copy of *The Nature of Witches*. I have it in my book koozie. These are made by my friend Taylor. I'll have it linked down below. Um, but yeah, I'm still gonna go to Starbucks this morning and read this. Um, but. The change in plans is I don't think I will have time to read two physical copies so instead of reading the physical copy of Good Girl Bad Blood I will listen to the audiobook of To All the Boys I've Loved Before and I'm going to start that audiobook pretty much after I stop filming this <laughs> so I'm gonna start that right away I'm not gonna waste any time so as I'm driving to Starbucks I'll listen to the audiobook, see how far I can get into that. But yeah, I feel like we're kind of on a time crunch now, but I would still like to read three books if possible. I feel like that is still very ambitious, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. on this vlog before coming here and I listened to the audiobook of To All the Boys I Loved Before while I was editing. So I'm on chapter 22 and I'm off to a really good start. You fill my head with roses I can't help but dream away Standing on a field with you and flowers Everywhere, mm -hmm. maybe there is a star with your name. One thing I know is that there should be. There is no one who has a heart as pure, no, not like yours. Okay guys, it is the end of the 24 hours and I ended up finishing Bookish and the Beast. I finished this this morning and I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. I loved the audiobook. It was so much fun. And then I ended up finishing The Nature of Witches at Starbucks. And I gave this one three out of five stars. I wasn't super in love with the execution of the plot, but I did really love the rich details of each and every season. And I loved Sing. Sing was the main character for me. <laughs> I actually wrote a list of all the reasons why Sang Park is a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Oh my goodness, hello. He is a spring witch. He loves flowers and botanical illustrations. He is compassionate, kind, patient, and gentle. 
His magic flows on a current of calm and he smells like black tea and honey. And then I wrote one other thing, but it's kind of a spoiler, but you just kind of have to read it and see for yourself. And yeah, like I said, Sang was, was the main character for me. He definitely carried the story. And then I almost finished To All the Boys I Loved Before. I was so determined to read three books and I was so, so close. I had 10 chapters left. So I still feel like I did a pretty good job and I got a good chunk of my TBR done for the Sweater Weather Readathon. So yeah, let me know how your progress is going, what you've read so far, anything you wanna share. And thank you so much for spending 24 hours with me and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.